in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and serve ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the blessed ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the need of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as sensual men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food. For you were not ready for it, and indeed, you are still not ready for it since you are still unspiritual. Isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and wrangling that there is among you, from the way that you go on behaving like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual than your slogans, I am for Paul and I am for Apollos? After all, what is Apollos? And what is Paul? They are servants who brought the faith to you. Even the different ways in which they brought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting. Apollos did the watering. But God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters. Only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering, and each will be duly paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers with God. You are God's farm, God's building. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his, as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers of the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their needs. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Our Lord, our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait to them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from disease of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people holding, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. When the daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them, but he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that is why what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogue of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a while. All of us will definitely be convinced to say to God, it is good to be here. And I hope that is what we have in our heart, connecting ourselves once again to the mysterious ways of God through our Lady Mary. And in the Gospel text, we heard how friends brought their sick people to Jesus in order to be healed. I know that one of the reasons we came here is because of different intentions we have in our hearts. And most of them are those people who ask for our prayer because of different illness, because of different sickness, difficulties, troubles, and hardships in life. I too are bringing with me the lot of prayers of my people in my parish and even with my family and friends. Like the gospel, all of us, through the intercession of Our Lady, are bringing it to Jesus in order for healing, in order for all the, 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 the ailment, both physical and at the same time spiritual, be healed by God. It happened at the sunset, and we know what sunset is all about. It is the end of the day. But the people do not lose hope on Jesus. So all of us are also being asked to do the same. Even at sunset day, at sunset time, we never lose hope especially to the intercession of our Mother Mary, even at the sunset, we find hope in God. But in the Gospel text, Jesus never stays with them because He knows He is a God and man in mission. In also the same with us. Though it is good to be here, we know Our Lady are tasking us to do missions in our lives, to be a better person, to get away with our sinfulness, to be a channel of blessing to other people. Paul, in the first reading, have shown it to us that in the midst of the Corinthians division, out of jealousy, what Paul did is no other than to communicate and to talk to them at their level of their development. Paul did not get angry with the Corinthian people, but rather talked to them what they could swallow as a child. And so do our, all of us are being asked, not losing hope on ev everyone, on each one, but rather transforming ourselves and dialoguing with other people in such a manner that we could be understood in such a manner that they will know what God wants them to live with. 
not being superior, not being dominant, not condemning, but rather accommodating and at the same time welcoming and transforming ourselves in order that the Word of God could be facilitated in such a way that they could understand. So on this Eucharist celebration, we bring all the prayers of our people, of our loved ones. But like Jesus, though it is good to be here, we are being commissioned to send the good news of the Lord to other people. And by bringing it, like Paul, can we be compassionate, understanding, not superior, not dominant, but rather a loving one. Let us uh, stand and lift up to God all our prayers. Let our prayer be, Our Lady of Fatima, intercede for us. Please repeat. Our Lady of Fatima, intercede for us. Let us lift up to God all our intentions, especially thanksgiving for so many blessings that we receive, especially our very own life. We have so many things to thank for, our families, our friends, the nature, those people who help us to be here. We thank the Lord. We are including in our thanksgiving those who are celebrating their birthdays, those who are successfully find their jobs, those who are lost and find each other. Let's pray to the Lord. Our Lady of Fatima, intercede for us. Second, we have to pray for those who are sick, those who are hopeless because of what happened to their physical ailments. Let's pray for those who are sick, those especially who have no money to, to support their healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Lady of Fatima, intercede for us. Let's pray for those who are traveling wherever they are coming from and going to. And all of us who are here in pilgrimage, that we be protected by the mantle of Our Lady and those who are driving with us and guiding us wherever we are. May, guide, may God guide us, protect us always. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those called by God, those our beloved dead, family members who are gone, everyone who are forgotten, our friends, the lost souls, may they enjoy heaven with Our Lady. Let us pray to the Lord. And in the brief silence of our hearts, let us lift up to God all that we have in our hearts, that we carry on in our prayer and in pilgrimage in this sight. Loving Father, we lift up to God all our prayers, said and unsaid. May the Our Lady of Fatima, who bring Jesus with us, intercede for us with the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. My liberty, take all my heart, my mind, my memory, 
Cristo, this may be reached, or else will I forego. Pray. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May Almighty accept our sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all His church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that to the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. History right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we gather here in the name and honor of the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, Jesus, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven, heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending the Holy Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, who has been given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints of have you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command is born by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress and useless anxieties, as we wait in the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and you should grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who take away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech our Lord your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary on this apparition site of Fatima, may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we end, we'd like to thank everyone who, even though so cold and so early, are here to, to be with Jesus and listen to, to his words you know, and to receive him in the sacrament. We are a pilgrim from the Philippines, uh, Father Michael Cron, the parish priest of one of the Our Lady in the Philippines, Our Lady of Solitude in Cavite, Philippines, and I'm the parish priest of our Immaculate Conception Parish in Barcelona. And we thank all the pilgrims, the Filipinos here, and uh, the, the reader, and all of us. You know, may the God continue to, to guide us and may the mantle of the Blessed Mary always protect us. And as we go home, let us continue to, to be like Mary, you know, bringing Jesus. You know, only Jesus, always Jesus, nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. It's five, no? Only Jesus, always Jesus, nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. The Lord be with you. With the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The most we know, let's go to love and serve like Mary. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us uh, sing Salve Regina. No? Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dolcello, Estes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, exules filiebe, a te suspiramos, gementes et plentes, vira lacrima lumbare. Ella ergo, advocata nostra, Pray for us, O Lord, Mother of God, and may the word of the promises of Christ. Thank you and good morning, everyone.